And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. So five yards for running into. Lucky it wasn't 15 for roughing. No doubt about it because they protect the kickers and the guys holding the ball almost as much as they protect quarterbacks in the pocket. They don't want those types of injuries. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. A second broken tackle. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. The face mask moves him all the way out past the 40 now for first down. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down, so let's see what this is about. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the end. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Gardner Minshew taking it in. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it. Let's go. And boy, did that work out well. Lambo to add on the extra point. And that will bump the lead up to 26. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And Detroit getting set to go now. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Stafford. He was looking for his big tight end there, Jesse James. But it'll be second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. Throwing on third down, Stafford. This is Reddick on the screen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Stafford now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down at Stafford. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. A.J. Bouye, the fine quarterback there to make the play defensively. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Stafford now to throw. Little short pass to James. 
They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. Stafford, it's caught, Jones! And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Now a first down throw, Stafford, complete to Jones. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Stafford looks to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. And that'll be enough to keep the drive moving forward. Another first down on the pickup of five yards. Back to throw, Stafford. And it's caught here, Amendola. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's Stafford. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. The Lions on third down. They've hit four of seven. They're up against a third and one situation. Now Stafford looking in zone, but it's incomplete. But defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a spree. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Well, that field goal block pretty much sums up the day for them, doesn't it? Boy, it really does. What's the word we often use? Symptomatic? It's just, it's just been a sign of how this one's gone. Give a lot of credit to the guys who got in and blocked the kick. They've had the advantage all game, and they continue to press it. And this will be a pickup of four here, up to their own 20. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. And he's got Rome, the 40, 30, 10, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership of that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. Now they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Fairly short kick, taken at the 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost, it was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done. And maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. To throw on third down, Stafford. And that is incomplete. DJ Hayden right there on the coverage. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. 
The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there. They go for it here on fourth. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Minshew. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They converted once earlier in this drive, but they'll roll the dice here again on fourth down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. He's got his tight end, O'Shaughnessy. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Ready, ready. So they'll come up Eight, first three. and 10 now from the 33. Now Minshew on first and 10. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. On second and 10, Minshew. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Now Leonard Fournette, and an alley to run. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Jaguars. Leonard Fournette with now two fourth quarter touchdowns as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. Point after by Lambo, up and good. And that will extend this big lead. So that one a long 11 play drive. And a long run there in the end to top it off. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. Let's go, boy, bring it up! A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week, we'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.